how to use scripting for success in your business. Here's exactly how to use a manifestation technique called scripting to attract success to your business much more quickly. Scripting is a manifestation tool that I use every single day to attract a lot of success to my business and my life in general. Today I'm going to show you exactly how I use this technique and some of the life changing results that I have had from scripting. I've now turned this series into a free manifest business success challenge. During each day of the challenge, we will go deeper into each step of the steps to manifestation. And if you haven't already joined the challenge, sign up for the complete videos, daily email reminders and workbooks by going to manifestbusinesssuccess.com. In this challenge, I will take you through the 10 steps of manifestation and how they can be applied to business. And today we are going to be focusing on day number four, which is clarity, how to use scripting for success and how it changed my entire life. And I'm so excited to share my story with you. So today you will understand how powerful scripting is for your life and your business. You will discover exactly how to do scripting yourself and you'll be motivated by my story of how scripting completely changed my life. My name is Kath Kyle and I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. And I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. I would like to know, are you already taking consistent action in your business, but you're not seeing any results yet? Are you feeling demotivated to continue putting so much effort into your business when you're not feeling like you're doing anything you are doing is working? So let me know what you're struggling with by leaving a comment on my blog or sending me a DM on Instagram. So let's change your struggles into solutions right now. So do you want to increase your number of followers, videos, video views, downloads, sales page views, comments, likes, engagement, or subscribers? Do you want to feel clarity about the exact details of what you want? And do you want to feel confident that what you desire is on its way? You're in the right place because you can use scripting to manifest all of this. So how to use scripting for manifestation. So here are the steps to getting started with scripting. Number one, your scripting equipment. So what you need to do is grab a pen and some paper. I like to use a journal, but you can use whatever you like and that's it. You don't need anything else. Number two, now you need to prepare for scripting. So you should have already gone through the previous steps to manifestation, which are to prepare for manifestation by getting your mindset in the right place. And the second step, which is deciding what you want. And the third step, which is setting your intentions. And if you haven't been through those steps, go back to the previous content pieces where I describe how to do that. So the third step, step number three is scripting time frame. So now you know some of the exact results you want in your business. You are using scripting to fill in the details. So scripting is about bringing clarity to your manifestation. Now you need to decide what time frame you are scripting. Is this going to be a particular day, week, month or year? You can use any time frame you choose. I personally do a lot of scripting now that I know how powerful it is and I script every single day for the, the very next day for tomorrow. I script once a week for the week ahead. I script the whole of the next month for the month ahead and I script the following year for the year ahead. So number four, how to begin writing your script. So what should the opening sentence be? This is how we start the script because a lot of people look at a blank page and think, how on earth do I get started? So here are some openers for you. There are a few different ways that I like to start my script. 
The first one is by starting with gratitude. So the first way is to start with gratitude as gratitude puts you into a very high frequency where you are more likely to believe that what you are scripting is possible. And if you want to start your script with gratitude, you can say something like, I am so grateful that, and then fill in the details. You could say something like, I am so grateful that my videos have gone viral today. It's so exciting getting so many new followers and comments from people who are loving my videos. I love helping so many people. So the second opener is I woke up. You can also start your script with the words I woke up and then fill in the blanks. It could be I woke up feeling and then you can add some feelings to the end of that sentence. So I often do that with my daily scripts. I usually start them with how I want to feel. So for example, I say, I woke up with so much energy, happiness, love and abundance. And it's been incredible since I started adding my feelings to my scripts a couple of months ago, I would say like 99.9% .9 of the time, I do actually wake up with this exact feeling. My energy has gone through the roof. The third way to start your scripting is to tell a story. So another way that I love to start off my scripts is to start with the words, it all started about a month ago. And I love this opener because it's the way you might start a very exciting story if you were telling it to someone else. And you might say something like, it all started about a month ago. You won't believe how many things in my business have changed this last month. All of a sudden, I just started getting way more video views and clients. Things have really turned a corner and it's all finally working out for me. It's amazing. And I love to use this technique on a monthly basis. So I tend to think about what I want for the month ahead. And then I, I imagine that I'm telling somebody how the previous month had gone. I remember you're projecting into the future. So say you're in November now, you would write a script for December and you would then talk about how well December has already gone. So finally, step number five is to fill in the details. So now you've got your opener to your script. Now you write the rest of your script by filling in the details. So your script can be as long or short as you like. It could be half a page. It could go on for several pages. The choice is yours, but I wouldn't write less than half a page because scripting is about adding detail. And if you write less than half a page, you're not really going to be adding much detail to your script. So here are some scripting tips. Here are some more script uh, tips that will help your scripting practice to be more successful. Number one, project into the future and used, use past tense. So this might sound a bit complicated. So what do I mean by this? So talk about something that has already happened as if you are already in the future. For example, I am so grateful that I got my first client today. So you're talking about something that you want to happen in the future as if it's already happened and you're telling somebody that it already happened. You got your first client today. Number two, add feelings to your scripts. Scatter emotional words throughout your script as it helps your brain to believe that it's real. So use words that are really help you to feel positive about what is going to happen. So use words like excited, grateful, incredible, that kind of thing. And I actually have a free gift that is a massive list of 400 positive emotions, positive emotion words that you can print out and it will help you find the right words. And you can get that at manifestbusinesssuccess.com or you can look on the link around this content. Tip number three, be careful what you script. So make sure that you script things that you actually want for your life. Don't script something that somebody else wants for you. Even, and even if it seems unbelievable, make sure it is something that you actually desire. A lot of people will encourage you to only choose believable things to script about, but having had the proof in my own life that scripting things that might actually seem impossible can really come true. I would not want you to limit yourself. 
my belief is if you desire it there is a reason why you desire it and it is because it is supposed to happen so even if you feel like that could never happen because it would mean like people my parents would literally have to move you know all the way down from one country to another country and that's never going to happen because they've always said that they'll never they'll never move house and they're really settled there still if you feel a desire to to have that in your life script it because you just don't know what's possible so why scripting actually works scripting works because it convinces the brain that your script has already happened because you have created new memories and attached feelings to them so the brain has no way of knowing that this isn't real and it creates the reality that you have scripted scripting is basically a type of visualization instead of sitting visualizing what you want by just thinking about something you're writing down the details as well as thinking about the details and i find scripting a lot more powerful than simple visualization for the simple reason that it stops my brain from wondering and i'm much more likely to think of more of the details than i would do if i just allowed my mind to wander visualization has been scientifically proven to work and scripting takes visualization to a whole new level it's basically visualization on steroids and i have actually created another powerful technique that i use in my dream business blueprint called the genius mind creation ritual that incorporates scripting with some other techniques to give you manifestations to give your manifestations even more of a boost and in fact one of my clients used this technique to manifest three extra sales in just a couple of days after using this technique so here are some scripting frequently asked questions so no doubt you have a lot of questions about scripting so i'm going to try and answer as many as i can now but if you have any more just let me know and i'll get back to you with the answers so how often should you do scripting I say that you can do scripting as often as you like, but the more often, the better your results will be. I personally do scripting at least once a day for a daily script and one extra day per week on a Sunday as a weekly script and an extra day before the last day of the month as a monthly script and on New Year's Eve for an annual script. But if you can only manage one script, and you just script in the whole of your future or your perfect day or your perfect week or month or whatever it is, then that is more than sufficient to manifest what you want. What time of day should you do scripting? You can do scripting whenever you like. As long as you do your scripting before the time period has begun that you are scripting, it doesn't matter when you do it. Some people like to do their daily scripts first thing in the morning, but I prefer to do my daily scripts last thing at night, um, the day before the day that I'm scripting, just because I prefer to do my journaling in the evening rather than in the morning. So how long does it take for scripting to work? And this is different for everyone. If I would say if it is a life changing script, like for example, my perfect day script, it could be a long time. It took about one to two months before I saw any evidence that things were shifting before my husband said that there was a job that he wanted to apply for. So that was the proof that things were, were happening. And then it took about another month to see proof that my life was about to change when he actually got the job. And from that point, it took three months before we actually moved house. And then it took about a total of 10 months for my parents to move close to us as they had to sell their house first and it will be about a year and a half from the date that I wrote the script until we move into our dream house. And there are some things that still haven't manifested on my daily script, and I have no doubt that they are definitely in my future, and I am so happy to, um, to manifest those in the future. And if your script is something that doesn't ha have so many big pieces of the puzzle to shift and rearrange, things can happen much faster. So um, when I script on a daily basis, they're usually smaller things that I script and they often happen the very next day. Like increased traffic to your videos could happen the next day as it often does for me. So now that you have learned how to do scripting, you might be finding it difficult to believe that your scriptings are actually going to come true. 
But next time, I'm going to help you work on your belief system so you can start to believe that your dreams really can come true for you. This is what I'm going to be sharing next time. So make sure you subscribe to my podcast and my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram so you don't miss that. And while you're waiting for the next step in the manifestation process, you can start taking practical action in your business today. You can watch my free workshop where, where I walk you through my complete process of planning the business of your dreams in just 30 days. This is part of my premium course, Dream Business Blueprint, and I'm only making this workshop available for free for a limited time. Um, so grab that while it's still available. So go to manifestbusinesssuccess.com to get my free workshop, how to plan your dream six figure business in 30 days. Until then, go and put your stamp on the world.